what's good with y'all this video should be quick i'm just gonna make a video about online coaching in-person coaching or training whatever you want to call it i've talked i talked to two people yesterday and they both asked me questions about their coach slash trainer and it made me think this would be a good thing to talk about so a couple things for me the trainer or coach is serving you so whether it's in person or online that person should be dedicated to making you the best version of yourself um almost on your terms obviously that person is the trainer they're gonna have some ideas about how to make you your best self but if you don't want to do a certain thing you you, you just shouldn't have to do it uh, and if you want to do that thing and they don't want to do it you should go to somebody else honestly um if i if i get someone and they tell me I just don't want to squat. I don't ever want to squat. As much as I love squatting, I'll say, okay, you don't have to squat. If you never want to deadlift, you don't have to deadlift. Would I like you to? Yes, but you don't have to. If someone's trying to force you to do something, I don't think that they're serving you like they should. You're paying them. That doesn't mean they should be your slave, but you are paying them. It's a service. You should get things the, the way you want. Now, sometimes that's impossible, right? So... Maybe you're like, oh, I want to eat this much food and I want to look like this. And they can tell you, all right, you're not going to be able to look like that eating this much food. But if you want to eat a certain food, I, I shouldn't be able to say, no, no matter what, you're not allowed to eat that food. That's not how it works. So let me get more specific. Online, here's what I think. If you're getting training from somebody online and you guys don't do check-ins i already think that's garbage because they can't even they can't personalize it they can't ask you any questions they can't make sure you're on the right track so if you're not doing check-ins that's a red flag to me the second thing they don't ask you any questions before you get started if you sign up with someone or you buy their stuff and, and they give you something and they haven't asked if you had any injuries what's your training style like what do you normally do so I can make sure I don't take you from here to here? That's a red flag to me. Um, what else? I'm, I'm doing this on the fly. I didn't pre-plan it, so I might be all over the place, but I kind of have an idea of what I'm talking about. Next thing, um, if you can't ask them questions or if you can't request changes, if my, if my clients tell me, hey, bro, I, I like the program, but I'm not a fan of doing this, if I really think it's important, I'll explain to the I'll explain to them, hey, I think you should do this because it'll help you get to here. If you don't want to do it though, I can find an alternative or we can cut it out. But you have to exp I will explain that that has consequences, but I won't force them to do it. If you can't ask your trainer or your coach to change things or tell them that you just don't like something, to me that's a red flag. Uh, as a, I'm an athlete myself, and sometimes I just don't like stuff. I just don't. And I'll tell my coach, John, I just say, bro, I hate these. <laughs> I just don't like them. And sometimes he says, hey, these are necessary. We have to do these for you to get better. And I'll say, okay. But if it's not necessary, he'll straight up tell me like, okay, we could do something else. I just wanted you to do this today. And it's like, cool, that's perfect. And because of that, because he's such a good coach, I trust him with everything. So there, it's, not, it's not often that I would say, I don't want to do this. I almost always say, hey, you're the man with the plan. Like, let's do whatever you think's the best. Um, so I was going to do online coaching and in-person coaching, but really I think everything still applies to an in-person coach. You should be able to ask them questions. They should have asked you questions when you guys started. They should have a plan. Also, I'm going to address something while I'm on this topic about plans. If you get the same plan as somebody else, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, sometimes people have like basic shells that they use for people that they just get, or uh, people that are in the same phase of doing something it's like i have them do something very similar unless they ha like you guys might be doing like the same base work but someone else might have like a slightly different accessory because they have something that they need to work on or something that's not automatically a bad thing so if you see someone else with your workout you're you're like wondering did my coach give us both the same workout maybe he did that's not necessarily a bad thing um my training partners if i have any we might do the same workout on the same day. That's not a bad thing. But if you never have any different workouts, to me, that's a red flag. That means they might just be copying and pasting all of that shit. Oh, what else? 
like I said, I'm doing this with no plan. So I just wanted to make a quick little five minute video. Um, I think I covered everything I want to cover. Communication, I covered that. You should be doing check-ins. Oh, let me go more in detail about check-ins. I have a lot of clients, and, but I give them unlimited access to me. I know everyone can't do that. But I, like when people tell me they can only check in on a certain day and it's like very infrequent, that to me, that sounds weird. Like I always tell my clients, you can message me anytime. Um, if you want my number, you can have it. They can message me anytime. I might not respond anytime because I might be with somebody else. I might be busy. But I don't say like, hey, I'm only going to respond to you on Sunday. Like if I have time in my day and I'm just like bullshitting on Instagram, and I see a message, I'm going to respond to it. So if you don't have access to your trainer, to me, that's a red flag. Anyways, I think I'm done talking. Video two out of 100. I'm doing 100 videos this year. Let me know in the comments or my messages. If you follow me on social media, let me know anything that you want to hear me talk about, any topics that you want to cover, things that you don't know that you want to know. I got you. Have a good day.